Evolutionary psychology is pseudoscience. It is just a bunch of, just so stories that are mere speculation. Do you feel the same way about applying evolutionary theory to the behavior of other species? Human behavior is too complex. Evolutionary theory does not explain this complexity. We need other explanations. And, what might those be? Genetic determinism does not address the complexity of human behavior. We need something else. And, what does genetic determinism have to do with evolutionary psychology? It's evolutionary. Evolution says that behavior is genetically determined. If that were true, there would be very little variation in behavior. That is clearly not true. Therefore, evolutionary psychology is clearly flawed. Evolutionary biology and psychology are the search for adaptations that underlie the behavior of organisms. These adaptations are, by definition, sensitive to environmental inputs in precise ways. They do not give rise to behavioral inflexibility. Rather, they allow for and make possible the behavioral flexibility we see in organisms. Human behavior is more nurture than nature, while the behavior of animals is much more a consequence of instincts. Human behavior has broken free from animal instinct and is now the result of our free will and ability to choose our destiny. Are you familiar with William James? He was an old psychologist. James reasoned that human behavior is extremely flexible, not because we have few instincts but because we have many. Human behavior is too flexible to be genetically determined. Human behavior is caused mostly by social and cultural influences. Society and culture came from somewhere, right? They are products of human activity that is informed by a brain that is the product of natural and sexual selection. Variation in human society and culture is simply a result of the operation of the same evolved brain operating in different environmental circumstances. But, if behavior is genetically determined and reproductively fit, why do people use birth control? Most behavior is not genetically determined. People use birth control because they don't want to have a baby, at least at that moment. Then evolutionary psychology is stupid, since it says that people have sex in order to reproduce. People do not necessarily have sex in order to reproduce. Sex is pleasurable because it has historically led to positive fitness outcomes. You are confusing proximate and ultimate causation. Don't change the subject. Sexual behavior cannot be genetically determined because, many times, people do not want to have offspring. Therefore, this cannot be the reason for them engaging in sexual behavior. Why is this so hard for you to understand? My eyes are now bleeding and I want to kill you. I hope you continue to enjoy your cultural anthropology courses.